everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play of Stay. When we left off, we met Quinn, even though this game here says that I didn't know his name. I did. Either way, we're on the chapter four. We're gonna see if we can find anything else. I wonder if these are like... I don't know what those are. Like, are anagrams? Or is it just Latin? I mean, what are these things? I really don't know how many chapters this game has, so I'm kind of rolling straight into it to see if I can do anything. So, here's the updated news. There's a small incident in the room and a shelf of some porcelain came down. So when I thought that I had enough of my plate... The plates decided to multiply and break into pieces. That's nice. There's three of them, one each more shattered than the other. And each with its own symbol, it seems. Okay. What am I supposed to do with this useless crockery? Throw it all away and start pottery lessons? And in the line of my hipstress porcelain? Or rebuild this crap and see if there's some hint? Do you think it's worth the trouble and time? Forget it, it's trash. No, I don't think so. I think it's... I think it's something important. When you're trapped in an empty room and feel that your life is in danger, everything you find is worth the trouble and time. Exactly. People who overthink their decisions have more brain cells in their frontal lobes. As you must have noticed by now, I have no brain cells at all. The central question is... Which play do I waste my time on? Okay, no pain, no gain. I guess to so do the hard one. Well, I wouldn't waste much time if I were you, so do the easy one. Neither easy nor hard one. Virtue is taking the middle path. I feel like this is corresponding to like his life struggles, you know, like if he takes the easy way out or goes the middle route instead of doing something difficult. Let's do the hard one. It may waste time, but let's do the hard one. Look at that twisted mind in action. Because you gotta risk it for the biscuit, right? Risk it for the biscuit? Okay. I like the way you think. Oh, I actually have to do this. <coughs> okay, that's fine. We're, we're totally good. We are 100% golden, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it like snapped into place. Good, good, good. Okay, so I need that to go there. What is- okay, that's just its own separate piece. Um, it's not that. That goes there. That goes there. Um... Some kind of... Diagram or... Something. Yeah, I got this, I got this. Maybe? Like, like he said, you gotta risk it for the biscuit, right? Apparently? I don't see any other... Okay, yeah, that can go there. That can go up there. This... Okay, sure. Um, it doesn't look like I can move them after they're, like, actually set, which helps a little bit. Um... Okay, that goes there. That goes... There? Okay, some of these are, like, weirdly overlapping.
There we go. I did. Hello, cat. What was that? All me. We summoned a cat. Behind every broken plate, there's a naughty cat in action. Okay, the strange symmetric drawing that evokes pure evil, the demon of lies and guilt, able to induce any type of sins. Okay, I have a companion now. Feed the cat to the frog, who seems about as upset as being trapped in here as I am. Uh, no need to be jealous, Kelly. You're still my favorite and I still need your help. <laughs> okay. I just want, like, jumbled keyboard garbage as the cat walks over the keyboard. Oh, that's awesome! Yes! Sorry, it's him telling us that he's from a lost village in Iceland. Interesting thing about cats. Did you know that they lower your stress level and anxiety? Over a 10 year period, cat owners are 30% less likely to die of a heart attack or stroke. Which means my kidnapper probably cares about me. Uh, that's weird, but promising. It could show you the way out. Where did it come from? Or does it have a name tag or something? Um, let's go with the name tag. It's the prob probably the cat didn't come from anywhere. His name is Belial. He's a bit spooky. Belial? A darkish blue fur and ruby eyes. Smooth and silent, unfriendly. His name is Belial. Walks like an Egyptian. Walks like an Egyptian, is what I was trying to say. Shiny black cat with big ruby eyes that truly penetrate. Kind of freaks me out. Just hope that I'm decent enough company for him to stay with me. Because this is clearly not the Hilton, and cats can be very finicky. True. Wait, besides the name tag, there's something else on his collar. What is it? It's counting down, so that's not good. Some kind of device, a clock. The countdown. Oh no. <laughs> that cat's a bomb. <laughs> uh, you're in deep crap. How long do you have left? Oh, what happens if I leave? If I have to go? According to the clock, I have approximately 13 hours. Oh no. Until something happens. The place blows up? I blow up the computer? Nothing? Nothing blows up. I think it's just a warning about time I have left to hurry and try to get off this place, or else... I'll probably die here. Don't worry, you have me and Belial, a new furry friend. Everything will turn out okay. Wow. I really don't know what to say. Things look really tough for you. Let's remain calm. We'll find a way out. Nope, we got this one. Because the cat reduces the stress levels. I think. Thanks for the words of comfort. I have these conflicted feelings. Sometimes I think that going through hard situations all alone means less suffering. No collateral damages. But then I'm aware that if I were alone in the situation would be unbearable. Regarding Belial here. I think he was the one who kidnapped me. Seriously. Why? That direct stare with those constricted pupils and the ears always flattening sideways. Don't get me wrong, I love cats, but I think he hates me. I don't feel so good right now. Uh-oh. Just give me a few minutes to muster up some courage. BRB. 
That's not good. 38% of users like you should know that pain is a warning to stop pushing yourself before you get injured. Okay, so this is very, very split for who did what. Interlude, leave at your own risk. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, what happens in this game? Don't walk on the glass, you dummy. What's he doing? I don't know what this time thing means either. There's like a clock in the upper corner. You guys might not be able to see it. But there's a clock and a shutdown image. Just looking around and thinking. I would not want to use that towel. <sighs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Is this computer broken? It also says Zen Master. I don't know what that achievement means. Sorry for disappearing so abruptly. Digging into the past can be taxing work. Okay. It's something I ask so often from my patients. But even for me, it feels like climbing Everest without oxygen. Which would be impossible. Wouldn't pass camp, I... Never been the athletic type. Okay, that's good. You'll probably remember something that can help you. What's on your mind? Yeah, let's do that. Not gonna pressure him. I don't know what that means, but it's still doing well. Are we- are we friends yet? Okay, trust level highest. Okay, I traveled way back thinking about how I treated my patients, like numbers with stereotyped ideas giving cookie-cutter treatments. Without reflecting behind all those troubled minds were real, worthwhile individuals who had to come to me in dire need of help. And I sat there, feigning a sympathetic ear with all my diplomas and certificates behind me, shouting how good I was. Now I realize they were in fact proof of how- of, of what an ignorant fraud I was. A veiled charlatan. I deserve to rot here. Uh, you're too harsh on yourself. You can't go down that rabbit hole, because you might never come back. You're being too hard on yourself. Besides the obvious, is there something else that worries you? Um, let's go with this. I don't think he needs to be so hard on himself. Going down that rabbit hole may give us a clue to something, but yeah, we need to be careful. Thank you for the red flag warning. Once you start downward the emotional spiral, who knows where you'll end up. It's hard to recognize your negative feelings just as a mental process and not a definition of your identity. When the events trigger upsetting thoughts that cause negative emotions, it's easy to become overwhelmed by it and reflect a distorted picture of reality. To put it in a nutshell. When you become nuts and just completely lose it. Okay, let's think about that place as an escape room. 
attraction. You need to look high and low at every inch of that room. Breathe and relax. You gotta keep it cool until we figure out something. I like this one. I like the escape room. The escape room mentality. Never been to one of those, so I'm gonna take a leaf out of your book. Okay? I've been to some. They're pretty fun. Let's start with the furniture in this middle of this minimalist room. Can you? F what can you find under a table? Legal offers? Green boogers and ancient bubblegum? Someone hiding? Ah, they just gave me chills from my cold bare feet uh, to the top of my head. I'm afraid to look. Ugh. Give me a moment to get some guts to do some inspection. Alright, buddy, you got this. Is he flipping me off? I feel like he was flipping me off. Okay. Love a really good immersive experience. Good for us and for Quinn, of course. So most people told him to breathe and relax, huh? Chapter 6. Actum Scriptum. And you're not gonna believe it. No fossilized boogers or chewing gum. Just a key tucked on the side of the table. Nice. When you're missing a carpet or a vase to hide keys, why not use the bottom of a table? Time to go and leave that hideous place, but keep a tab on warning signs. We don't know what we're facing here. This doesn't make sense. To hide the key, but to put it in the same room as you. Yeah. Because how do they get out? To demand sense here makes no sense at all. But for once, something in the senseless place plays in our favor. I guess there was, uh, I guess it was there waiting for me all along. Maybe, maybe I have it all within reach to get out. I just have to find it. Or maybe it's a macabre game to see how long I take to finish it and reach my final destination. It's, but it's still better to burn out than to fade away in some scrappy hole. Fingers crossed. I don't know, man. I hope so. Don't, don't explode and die. Okay. It's like some kind of office or living room. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna look at these symbols, I guess? Um, that needs to go down here. And those need to go down here. That can go up there, that can go down there. Those can go down there. Um... Let's see, what am I doing? What am I doing? These have to indicate something. <clears throat> okay, is that all the books in the right area? I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um. Do I sort them by color or? Oh, you're not in the right spot. Um. 
color or height? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um... Okay... I don't know. I don't know what this is! So it's extremely confusing. I don't know what it is. Okay, so that's lower. Um... So I know I've gone kind of silent on this, but I really don't know what it wants me to do. Um, I would assume the symbols had to go in some order, right? But am I supposed to match the height of... Maybe you have to match the height of the symbols? So these go from low to high up top, and the bottom ones go from high to low? from me, game. Mm, nothing's working yet. I don't want to go all willy-nilly on this either. Okay, what could this possibly want from me? I feel like it has to be in low order of lowest to highest. That one's just barely lower. No. Hmm. Okay, so that one should be fine if it's from highest to lowest. <laughs> but it might not be. Um, okay, so... Those go down. I don't see any other thing that I can do. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm right on matching the symbols, but I don't know if you need to match them with the height of where the symbol itself is. And then work my way across? There's no hint, there's no clue whatsoever. Like, is it, is it color-coded? Is it... Is it because I said it's like, a, like an escape room that I have to do this? I don't know. But this matches the height for all four. So do I need to work my way down after that. That is the question. A question that I don't know if I know the answer to. Um. Especially when there's four of them. Okay. 
Because that's right. This one's super skewed, but it jumps down. Okay guys, so I have a theory and I think I know how it works, but I want to test it out and see. So I'm going to leave it for the next episode since time is of the essence. I'm going to see if I can solve it next time. So see if you guys have a theory. I have a theory and I don't know if it'll work, but if you can look on the bindings of the books, there's a pattern and I think that's going to play a key role. So we'll try it next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play.